How long is now? Is it so short you can never quite catch it? Or is it so long it goes on forever? I'm a stand-up philosopher. I want to make philosophy fun and sexy. I want people to care about what they think as much as they do about what they wear. You see, because philosophy's like magic. It changes your perspective. If you put up with a shallow, uninspired understanding of life, you end up living a shallow, uninspired life. The philosophy I explore in my new book, How Long Is Now, can take you into a new world, full of meaning and miracles. And you can start to really appreciate just how utterly extraordinary it is to be alive. Something happened when I was 12 years old, which was the beginning of my spiritual journey of awakening, which has been going on ever since. I was sitting on this hill, thinking about life and death, and while the grown-ups seemed to be pretending they knew what was going on, when it seemed to me that really none of them had a clue. And then, suddenly, for no reason, something happened. It was like I'd slipped into another reality, into a magic garden that I always knew lay close by. My state of consciousness was profoundly transformed and I experienced for the first time what I now think of as being deep awake, ultra-conscious. And I found myself in a world in which the colors were brighter and the birds sung symphonies. And I knew that everything was one. And in that oneness there was this incredible love. A love which embraced everything and everyone. And in some way that I didn't understand, I knew that I was that love. I've spent my life trying to understand what happened to me that day and to get back to the deep awake state again and again and again and to take others there too because I found even as a teenager that when I was deep awake other people around me became deep awake because states of consciousness are catching. Spirituality can sound like it's to do with being detached up some mountain meditating away from life but it's also about stepping right into life and engaging with the adventure. Because when you're deep awake, life becomes intensely pleasurable. I mean, just to breathe becomes almost ecstatic. Sometimes I want my body to be a temple of the soul, but other times I want my body to be a nightclub of the soul. I run these events called the Magical Mystery Experience, in which we come together to dive deeply into the mystery of existence and to experience this deep awake state together and feel the big love. And when people experience that mystery, they give it different names. Some call it enlightenment. Others call it gnosis or oneness, bliss, the Christ within, better than sex, what I've been searching for all my life. It doesn't matter what you call it, only that you experience it. And then you'll know what it is for yourself.